today we are going to compute some relations for obtaining uh, the value of the slip factor in pumps and compressors. As you know, the slip factor accounts for the three-dimensionality of the flow between blades or creation of secondary flows in blade-to-blade -blade plane. Uh, and the relation for the slip factor is defined as the ratio of the head of the pump when the flow is three-dimensional, this is the real head, uh, divided by the value of the head when the number of blades is infinity or the fl flow in uh, passages between blades is uh, one-dimensional. Uh, and this, in, in this case, the angle of the blades at the outlet is greater than the angle of the fluid at the outlet. The magnitude of the uh, slip factor is something um, between point is, uh, 65 and 0.85. Commonly, the slip factor varies between these two uh, limits. Uh, as we know, when the flow becomes three-dimensional, the value of head decreases. So this uh, ratio is um, something less than unity. Uh, but if you want to uh, propose sing a single value for the slip factor, Stefano suggested that the value of 0.73 is a good starting uh, suggestion. And also the value of the slip factor is a function of the number of blades and also the angle of blades at the outlet or the trailing edge of blades and the ratio of the angle, the radius of the blade at the inlet or R sub 1 over R sub 2, the radius of the uh, blades at the outlet of the impler. Okay, let's start uh, to compute a relation for the for slip factor, and then I will uh, discuss the effect of these three parameters on the magnitude of the slip factor. The oldest, the oldest value relation for computation of the slip factor is known as the Stobel Laws relation, 1927. Approximately um, 100 years ago, Stodola proposed this relation, and after um, I think um, uh, 20 years or 30 years later, uh, other researchers proved this relation using the relative eddy concepts, uh, as I will do in in this section. Okay, the Stodola formula is here. This is the slip factor, which is one minus pi over z, z is the number of blades sine of the angle of uh, angle of plates at the outlet over 1 minus phi is the uh, discharge coefficient uh, at the outlet and the cotangent of beta prime 2 uh, is the again the angle of plates at the outlet. The slip velocity or delta Cu2 Cu sub 2 is supposed to be equal to the product of a diameter or the radius of an uh, imaginary circle at the outlet d over 2 and the angular velocity of the pump. Okay, here as you see these uh, are two blades of the pump. Let me show you. Something similar to this. These are blades of the impeller and uh, the, the pump is that this impeller is backward so the direction of rotation of the pump is something like this, in this case, counterclockwise. Okay, uh, there is a circle at the outlet of the blade, which is the blade, the discharge circle. The diameter of this blade is d, and the radius is to d over 2. Uh, it is supposed that the slip velocity is equal to the product of the radius of this circle and the angular velocity of the pump. So uh, this uh, angle here is the angle of um, blades at the outlet based on the direction of rotation. This is beta prime sub 2. And we have a, um, a triangle here. This is 90 degrees. And so, so this angle here is P over 2 minus beta prime sub 2. So uh, this is the direction of the rotation of the relative eddy inside the 
um, the spacing between two blades. So uh, the estimate velocity uh, <clears throat> should be computed using this relation. In this relation, d is unknown; is an unknown parameter. So let me approximate d uh, by this relation. As you see, a b is the length of uh, this line between point A and point B. Uh, the line AB is a part of the circumferential uh, circle of the pump, so the radius of the uh, outlet of the blades is R sub 2. So this, the length of this section of this circle is 2 pi R sub 2, which is the peripheral length of the, uh, this circle. Uh, over z, z is the number of blades. I mean here, this is the 2 p r sub 2, and the number of blades here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we have five uh, inter blade spacings. So the, this, the length of this is a and b. a is here and b, so a, b is the length of this segment of the, the circle. Okay, so uh, the length of a, b is 2 pi r 2 sub 2 over z. And uh, again, d is equal to the uh, projection of the length of AB over the, uh, this cross-section, which is shown by d. And the angle between two lines is p uh, over 2 minus beta prime 2. So the length of d is the length of AB, which is 2 pi r sub 2 over z, and cosine of this angle, which is p. Uh, over 2 minus beta prime 2. Consider that uh, if the magnitude of the slip velocity decreases, it means that the flow is more uniform and more one-dimensional. So you, different parameters in this relation should vary in a way that the magnitude of the slip velocity decreases. This way the value of the slip factor increases. So you can see if the, uh, the outlet radius of the impeller R sub 2 decreases or the angular velocity of the pump decreases or the magnitude of the uh, angle of blades at the outlet decreases or the number of blades increases all these trends help us to obtain larger value of the slip factor. Uh, because, as you see, the, the, uh, we propose the um, angle of blade that yielded something between 20 degrees and uh, 40 degrees. But based on this relation, if you use a blade with lower magnitude of the angle at the outlet, you will obtain a greater uh, head or a greater uh, slip factor. Okay, the other, uh, the other proof of this relation uh, is uh, written here. As you see, uh, this is again the two blades of a pump, and this uh, relative circulatory flow shows the relative eddy concept. The uh, blades are backward, so the direction of rotation of the pump in this case is clockwise. Again, we have two points A and B, similar to here, A and B. This is the circumferential circle of the pump. Uh, again, here a this line is this part of the circumferential uh, circle of the pump, and a and b are two points, are the trailing edges of two blades located at the circumferential sector. <sighs> Beta prime uh, two is the angle of the blade at the outlet. Uh, the mass flow here is shown, and we are the streamlines of the flow inside the plates relative to the plates. And this is the streamline of the relative eddy inside the plates or the secondary flow. Okay, I have a, a counter, a closed counter here, uh, um, starting from the center of the eddy, and the, uh, the other point is B, and the other one is A. So I have a triangle here. And this angle here is 90 degrees, and I have two other angles. The, this line is the intersect of uh, this angle, so the smaller angle here is beta prime 2 over 2, or the half of the angle of uh, blades at the outlet. And uh, in this uh, triangle, uh, we have a 90 degree, and also we have this angle here, so the other angle, the third angle of this triangle is. 
equal to the p minus beta prime 2 over 2. Uh, the magnitude of the slit velocity, or the uh, shown here by delta w here, should be computed. It's supposed that the value of delta w at the outlet, or delta w sub 2, or delta cu2, cu sub 2, as shown here, delta cu sub 2, is proportional to the magnitude of the uh, circumferential velocity, or the um, peripheral velocity of the pump, which is shown by u sub 2, or the product of r and omega at the outlet of the impeller. Uh, the magnitude of this term should be replaced inside this relation, and here the numerator of this uh, term here is the again delta c u2 over u2. So x here is uh, should be exactly the magnitude of p over z sine of beta prime 2. As you see, I've obtained at the end of uh, the proof a, a completely the same result. Okay, let's compute the circulation of uh, the flow between blades along the closed curve O, A, and B. A, B, and O. This is the circulation of the flow along the curve A, B, and O. Which is the sum of the circulation along A and B, A and B, circulation along A and O, and circulation along O and B, three sides of the triangle. These two circulations are zero because uh, these uh, contours are normal to the streamline, as you see, this is the streamline, and this contour is normal to the streamline. And the circulation is computed based on the uh, velocity, uh, which is tangent, uh, tangential velocity, and because the normal component of the velocity normal to the streamline is zero, so these two uh, circulations are zero. So the uh, circulation along uh, a and B it equals this as the Stokes formula. Since we can use this, we compute this um, circulation using the flux of vorticity based on the Stokes theorem. So uh, the circulation along the these closed this closed uh, curve is equal to the circulation along uh, the line AB, which is equal to the flux of vorticity. Uh, along this, crossing this area, since the vorticity is defined as twice the angular velocity, and the angular velocity at different points inside this triangle is constant and uniform, so you can uh, write the integral of vorticity uh, at different at different points in this area equal to uh, it twice the angular velocity of the pump and the area of this triangle here. On the other hand, you can compute the circulation along the line AB using the definition of circulation, which is integral of the velocity dot or the contracted product, uh, the, uh, the line element along the path A to B. The velocity along this line is supposed to be delta W or the slip velocity, uh, which, is constant, which is supposed to be constant. So you can write this integral as the product of the slip velocity and the length of the line from A to B. Uh, again, using the geometrical relation, the length of AB equals 2 pi r sub 2 over z. So uh, this, in, this, in the second relation, the circulation along uh, the line A to B equals delta of a new 2. Uh, times 2 pi r sub 2 over z. So we have two relations for the circulation of uh, the flow along uh, the line AB. So uh, you can uh, equal these relations and obtain this uh, relation 2 omega, omega A, the area of OAB is here, and the second relation, uh, copy and paste the second relation here. Then compute the magnitude of the slip velocity. As you see, I want to compute the magnitude of the slip velocity, and then uh, the x, which should which appears here, is needed. So the magnitude of the slip velocity is uh, equal to z over two pi r sub two times twice the angular velocity of the pump and the area of the uh, triangle O A B. Let's compute the area of the triangle, as you know from your basic knowledge. 
the, so the length of this side, uh, this side of the triangle is AB, which is the greatest uh, side of the triangle. Cosine of beta prime 2 over 2, this is the beta prime, the cosine of this, this is the projection of uh, the, um, the largest side of the triangle. Uh, and the other side, which is again AB, the line of uh, the length of AB, cosine of this time this uh, angle here, which is P over 2 minus beta prime 2 over 2. You can easily simplify this relation using simple uh, relations, and you can obtain that the area of the triangle OAB equals 1 over 4, the length of AB. <clears throat> to the power of 2 and sine of beta prime 2. You should use the identity of sine of uh, twice of an angle to obtain this thing. Because here we have uh, half of beta prime over uh, sub 2, but here we have sine of beta prime uh, sub 2. Okay, easily replace. It's a straightforward. Uh, to replace the uh, area here and then compute the final value of the slip velocity at the outlet which is equal to, uh, to z over 2 pi r2 to omega and this is uh, the area of the triangle. Simplify this relation and obtain the value of x. x is the the magnitude of the slip velocity or delta W2 over U2. U is the product of R and omega. So you can replace X here and it should go here and this is the proof of the famous and celebrated relation of Stodola's slip factor uh, relation.